This slow cooker recipe is my all time favorite thing to cook in the slow cooker and it has been for years. It's like a bolognese, but it's not a bolognese. It's super rich, thick, flavorsome and absolutely delicious. It's great with pasta, on its own with veggies or even in a sandwich. Hey, I'm the is Scott Bapte and welcome back to my Food for Fitness kitchen. Now you're probably wondering what's the actual name of this recipe we're about to cook because I've not mentioned it yet. Well, originally it was called Sloppy Joe's which was in the fourth high protein handbook which is an American mince recipe that's usually served inside of a burger bun. However, 99 times out of 100 when I make it, I don't serve it in a bun, I serve it with pasta. So it didn't really make sense to call it Sloppy Joe's. So in actual fact, the recipe itself doesn't really have a name, but it is very, very tasty. If you like bolognese and rich pasta sauces, you're gonna love it. Anyway, this is how you cook it. Chopping boards out, knives nicely sharpened, and then you're going to get to work on one onion and two carrots for this. You can peel your carrots or not, just make sure you give them a good scrub first and then heat some oil in a large pan and you're going to fry those onions and carrots on a medium heat for about five to 10 minutes until they start to soften up and the onions start to turn translucent and everything is smelling delicious. I love the smell of fried onions. I don't like it on my clothes the next day, but when cooking it, I really love it. Then you're going to add 10 grams of garlic and fry that for a further 30 seconds or so. And then you're going to add in 750 grams of lean steak mince. If you're enjoying this video so far, I'd really appreciate it if you could just take a quick break and hit that like button. It doesn't stop the video at all. It just means more people are likely to see this video if YouTube thinks it's a good recipe. So if you could do that, I'd really appreciate it. Once you've got rid of all the pink bits from the mince, just dump the whole lot into the slow cooker. Because we're using 5% fat mince, there shouldn't be any fat that you need to skim off. And then add a jar of hot salsa along with a tablespoon of mixed herbs, two tablespoons of tomato puree, along with three tablespoons of Worcester sauce, and then some salt, along with some corn flour, just to help thicken things up a little bit. That's all the ingredients. All you need to do is mix that through, pop the lid on it, and cook it on a medium heat for about four hours, or if you want to cook it on a low heat for about six to seven hours. Do whatever is the most convenient for you. But anyway, once it's ready, it's going to be smelling delicious. It should be really thick. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I think it goes best with pasta. So just mix in your cooked pasta and garnish with something green. So that is the recipe I cook in my slow cooker more than anything else. And like I said, it goes really well with pasta, also in a roll on its own with some other kind of veggies. It's just the best way to cook mince in the slow cooker, in my opinion. So hopefully you'll agree with me. And as always, if you are a new viewer, make sure to click that subscribe button to get notified as soon as I post a new high protein recipe and drop a comment below and let me know what your favorite slow cooker mince recipes of all time or just your favorite slow cooker recipe just leave a comment below let me know and if i've not already cooked it i'm going to give it a go right off to go and eat this speak to you later